So we started the day off in Sovereign Harbour in Eastbourne and we left at about half past ten after faffing on and filling up with diesel and we ended up in Sparks Marina. We were headed for Bembridge on the Isle of Wight but that wasn't to be. High tide along this stretch of coast was about half past ten in the morning and low tide was quarter to six. However, Navionics was showing that the tidal flow was good from 10 till about half past four in the afternoon. So with hindsight, we left too late and we suffered a bit for that in the afternoon and evening. We were making a good seven knots from Eastbourne up until about 4 p.m. around this point in the journey where uh, we found the tide was on our nose. Up until then, things were going great and it was really plain sailing. So here's the footage of us leaving Eastbourne. We are leaving Eastbourne. What a wonderful marina complex it is here. The showers are amazing. Better even than Ramsgate. So we've got this double lock system to come in. And look around. There's Arctic smoke. There's Dave on the bow. Woohoo! Arctic smoke tied up waiting. Kurt the helm. <laughs> right on. And you've got boats filling up in the lock. Look. And they're going to close the stern doors. And we'll be good. Here we are, we're leaving Eastbourne and it's rather an interesting looking folly or castle or something. It's rather more pleasant than I remember it, but this is, we weren't really in Eastbourne, we were in this massive marina development here, look, which is quite impressive and rather lovely. There's the old Eastbourne that we all know and love. Cool. It's a really nice stop. Eastbourne Marina, um, definitely, definitely recommended. Showers are incredible. Uh, lock keepers are great, and the locks run all night. You can get in there at any state of tide. It's it was a really good stop. Enjoyed, enjoyed Eastbourne. Although we got there too late to really have a look around and see what other facilities were there. So we're motoring off towards Beachy Head now. Um, tide turns favourable at 11. I think we got away a bit later than we wanted. We were hoping to get out of the lock at 10, but by the time we filled up with diesel and blah, 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 you know how things go, washing up and all of that, it was kind of, uh, yeah. What time is it now? Hammer time. Hammer time. Quarter to 11, yeah, so we're a bit late, but at least we got the tide a bit more with us. So we're headed for Shoreham today, but we'll see what time we get down there, and maybe uh, the boat next to us this morning, the boat next to us this morning on the, um, on the fuel dock, came down from Ramsgate yesterday as well, and they said they were headed to Bewley today, Bewley River. So I may have a little look on the charts and see if we could make Bewley uh, instead of stopping at Shoreham. So we shall see. See what time we get there, how are things are going. Get some sailing done, but 
I'm equally suspicious that the wind will follow and be right on our nose coming down the solar. Well, due to more favourable winds and uh, lovely sunny skies, we had a change of heart and decided to try to make it further than Shoreham today and get over to the uh, east end of the Isle of Wight to Bembridge. However, while well, we've still got some wind, which is nice, the uh, sunny skies appear to have gone and it's getting a little bit cloudy and misty. So uh, we're, we're headed for Bembridge. We're just going past a rather large wind turbine array. So, because there wasn't really forecast any wind today, but uh, we've had it. It's marginal. We're just pointing at Bembridge and we've just got on a very close reach. But it's really helping. We're sort of doing six knots while the tide's with us. Uh, we've got the engine going as well just because it's so marginally on that course and helping us, you know, make most of the good time so we're not plugging for ages to get to Bembridge. Exciting times. So at about four o'clock in the afternoon the tide did indeed turn foul and we decided to pop in and use the protection of Selsey Bills, sail close into the shore and keep in the shallow water to avoid the worst of the tide. And you can see the change in the course here as we come out from behind Selsey Bill and the tide started pushing us back towards Eastbourne. We had some glorious sailing and a wonderful sunset. Guess what Kurt's doing? Help! <laughs> <laughs> all, all, all. all day long, 1000%, all day long. 1000% all day long. <laughs> David's slimming in some warmer clothes, now it's clouded over a little bit. There's life on Arctic smoke we got. Stuff going on, lovely. We just had a lovely uh, Tom Yum noodles with mackerel. Delicious. Thank you, David. Managed to wrestle up some pots. Very nice. There's the said Mr. Kidney. No wind all day and sunny.
try. Nearly there. Six meters. Whoa. That's why all this is happening then. Tides, winds, and shallow shallows. Where's the tide running? Like This shows our track from the end of the last footage. When we came through into the calm water, we just bore away and headed down to Sparks Marina. And Sparks was really fun to get into. It was dark by that point and we'd not been in and the currents around there were ridiculous. We were swirling round and round with no clue where we were going. Hell of a day, all in all. Um, it was 12 hours from leaving Eastbourne to getting into Sparks. When we got into Sparks, there was uh, very little to eat. Um, there was a sort of restaurant club thing on the quay there that was playing some pretty abysmal music. We managed to struggle a pint or two down and then go back to the boat and grab something to eat and uh, get a good night ready for the next morning. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, there's a few more videos to come until we get to Plymouth.